Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, a US bred six year old aces the Sandalay in Barbados Gold Cup prep event, the Coolmore Home of Champion Stakes and Trophy at the Garrison Savannah. At Cabanas Park, royalty in jockeyship as US based Sean Bridgemahan, a winner with his first ride in his native Jamaica in the George Hosang Trophy with Hosang and other giants in on the celebrations. Also Saturday at Caymanus Park, the 8.30 sprints is an afternoon stroll for an aptly named horse. One of four winners on the afternoon for jockey Tevin Foster. Barbadian trainer Savage Joseph Jr. in the headlines again with another stakes win at Florida's Gulfstream Park. Plus the usual weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent. Our opening story, night racing from Barbados. At the Garrison Savannah, horses parading pre-race for Saturday's main event, the US $25,000 Coolmore Home of Champion Stakes and Trophy, the San Delane Barbados Gold Cup's main prep event. Among the starters, number two last year's winner, the Ireland-bred So Suave with Ricky Walker aboard for trainer Jean-Marc Cozier. There's a field, the Canada-based trainer Tedston Holder with two Garrison Savannah first-timers, number one Forrest the Humor at 9-2 odds and the five-horse Pat Sewing Machine at 7-2. Nalicia Cozier's So Suave is the 6-5 favorite. The betting competitive with number 3 Zaid at 4-1 and number 6 Renaissance Frolic coming off back-to-back -back wins, the 8-5 second favorite in the combox. Dean Springer picks them up with longtime leader Forrest the Humor being tested. They've got just over three for longs to go. Uh, Forrest the Humor hounded all the way by Renaissance Frolic. Pat Sewing Machine cruises in third. So Suave being added with and Zaid is under the pump. They've done six in 115 and change. And then towards the quarter pool they come. And it's Forrester here on the inside who just falls away now. As Renaissance for it and Pat so Machine comes sweeping by on the outside. Lord Fov is coming with a rattle. Zaid is still in with a shot. And they're homeward bound in the Coolmore. And it's Pat Sewing Machine in front. On the outside, So Suave. Renaissance Frolic staying on. But it's Pat Sewing Machine and Renaissance. And So Suave. Pat Sewing Machine and So Suave. At the wire, Pat Sewing Machine. One of three wins on the afternoon for jockey to Sean Hazelwood using right hand cracks of the whip to fend off the closing. Ricky Walcott aboard the favorite, So Suave. One win from eight starts in the USA and Canada. Pat Sewing Machine a month before the Sandalane Gold Cup. An immediate winner coming to Barbados for owners Fun in the Sun Racing and trainer Tedston Holder. Pat Sewing Machine at 72 odds wins the Coolmore by a half length over So Suave. Denied a repeat win. Renaissance Frolic third. The winning time 1 minute 52 and 4 fifths for the ninth furlong run. To a memorable day at Jamaica's Caymanus Park now, where the iconic ex-Jamaica and Canada's Woodbine champion jockey was honored with the running of the George Hosang Trophy, divided into two sections. For section one, all eyes on the outstanding US-based jockey Sean Bridgemahan, first time riding in his native Jamaica and aboard the favorite, Fearless Soul. For TNT owner Bakrishan Sagan Mirage and trainer Philip Fiani, the maestro. Fearless soul toward the back of the field early, but Bridge Mahan, who has won 3,339 races in the USA and Canada, wasn't bothered. He had a race plan, watched in the com box by ace commentator Bran Rickman. The battle up front continues, strike smart, exchanging body blows with loyal action. These two heads apart as they slip past the three. A blinking light and Royal Ash teaming up in behind. Here comes Fearless Soul now unleashed by Bridge Mahon. She's by hedge fund racing out wide and at the back scrubbing the rail. That's Ella Fortunada as they come into the lane. Strike smart, just the leader. Royal Ash and Fearless Soul now launching their attacks. Loyal action has faded back. Ella Fortunada making progress down against the rail. But they're inside now the final furlong and Fearless Soul responds to Sean Bridgemahan's handling and now grabs the lead in the Georgia Sang OD Trophy. It is Fearless Soul coming away under the visiting Sean Bridgemahan. He has 3,399 wins. It's now 3,400. Sean Bridgemahan and Fearless Soul win the feature. Uncomplicated in the end after a not-so-smooth first half of the race, Bridgemahan coasting home for Fearless Soul's third win in six starts. The 44-year-old jock who was the 1998 Eclipse Award winner as the best apprentice rider in the USA, explaining to me post-race his strategy of not staying on the rail despite being drawn in the two-box. Well, I watched him replays and study the way he ran and uh, watch him run last time and a couple of times that he's won. And he seemed like he's a much better horse on the outside. So my strategy going in was never to get him on the fence and give him a clear path down the lane. He seemed to get braver. He ran him out last week and gave it up at the half of her long to go. I knew he was a little short. This race was a bit quick coming back, but 
Sean made a difference and he won the race. It was that kind of day, Bridge Mahan embraced by the fans and posing for pics in the winner's enclosure with Hosang and other retired Jamaican riding stars, Emilio Bimbo Rodriguez and Charlie Hussey. Section 1 of the George Hosang Trophy to the 4 to 5 favorite Fearless Soul by four and a quarter lengths for Trinbegonian owner Balkrishan Sagan Maraj. Chased by Strike Smart and Royal Ash, the winning time for five and a half furlongs, 107 and three fifths. Division 2 of the George Hosang Trophy also had seven starters, producing a tighter finish just over two lengths separating the first four. Up front, Kem and Joy is golden battle. Easy peasy is there. Fly Blue Jet now asked to close up on the extreme outside, but the battle up front is Joy is golden and Kem. These two noses apart as they drive past the furlong pole. Joy is golden. Kem now by the flare of a nostril. Bazinga trying to reel them in. Kem holds the lead. Joy is golden continues to battle on the rail. It is Kem. Here is Bazinga now sprouting wings on the outside, but Kem will take it. Perfectly measured ride aboard Kem by Tevin Foster, whose smooth but urgent handling of the four-year-old Colt fights off determined challenges from Bazinga and Joy is Golden. One of four wins on the afternoon for the 29-year-old Foster as Kem, whose breeder is the famous track coach Glenn Mills, who conditioned, of course, the great Usain Bolt. Kem gets his third win from 11 lifetime starts in a precious moment for Foster, who also gets a statement of approval from winning trainer Paul Swaby. Give thanks to win a race on a day like this, um, to see so much legend in the making. Well, uh, I've met Charles O's in first, he teach me at the riding school, but um, see Osang and Rodriguez in person, but at first I meet them and I give thanks to them. He's a very good rider. I mean, he uses head when he's riding the race. So, yeah, they're going to see a lot more from him. The Solid Gold Farms Chem by a neck has a 5-2 bet, scores over Bazinga, clocking 108 and 2 fifths for 5.5 furlongs, Division 2 of the George Hosang Trophy. Hosang over 1,300 wins in Canada and the USA, the first English-speaking Caribbean jockey to become champion at Canada's Woodbine. TNT's Emil Ramsamy and Barbada and Patrick Husbands followed him. At the end of the day, thrilled and gracious as a day's honoree. Lance, it feels so good. I feel like riding again. <laughs> Believe me, it's such a great festive day. Saturday is all the trophy event. The 8.30 sprint run in honor of the 1974 Horse of the Year provided Foster with the first and by far the easiest of his four wins. Speed on wheels now looks to have that lead. Can see her trying to battle back in the center, getting a crack or two of that stick and a quick change of hole. Ruby's Light is closest to them and racing in third, but Speed on wheels is under a hand ride, cruising at the moment. This is the 8.30 sprint. Speed on wheels and terrific Tevin Foster have them all left in shock and awe. Speed on wheels comes coasting in to win the 830 by maybe double digits. What a big run. Speed on wheels toys with the field for an 11 and a quarter length win in the 830 sprint as an 8 to 5 second favorite for trainer Howard Jagai and owners Willis Racing. The time a pretty slow 102 and 3 fifths, but it's obvious she wasn't pushed by Foster. In the presentation here, George Hosang, who partnered 8.30 to multiple track records as Horse of the Year in 1974, with trainer Jagai and Mark Williams representing owners Willis Racing. To the USA now, we're just over a month into the 2024 thoroughbred racing season, and the Barbadian ace trainer, Sappy Joseph Jr., already has 27 wins, including two stakes victories, the latest coming Saturday at Gulfstream Park in the Ford Gal Stakes. Coming off the final bend in the $125,000 event over seven furlongs, top commentator Pete Ayello watches Safi's entry, R. Harper Rose, ranging up on the outside with champion jockey Edgar Zayas edging into the lead. They're at the top of the stretch. They went 45 and four for the opening half mile. Edgar Zayas gives R. Harper Rose the cue to kick for home. She's an eighth of a mile from home and two on top. Fiona's magic is very game, fighting back toward the inside. Back to third, it's Chi-Chi, then scalable. 16th to go, R. Harper Rose with her ears up. She's going to win the forward gal in style. R. Harper Rose wins. Joseph Tallis, his second forward gal stakes win in five years. His tone in his shape, having won in 2020. His three-year-old filly, R. Harper Rose, winning Saturday's forward gal stakes by two lengths over Fiona's magic. Four wins and five starts for her, and she's undefeated in four starts in one-turn races. 1 minute 24.34, the winning time for seven furlongs. Three stakes wins this at the current Gulfstream Park Championship meet for the champion trainer, Safi Joseph Jr., who has had five wins in the past six days, including a victory at Tampa Bay Downs. 
our weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing personalities. Uh, before we go in the past week, I've counted 21. Note I said Caribbean racing personalities this week. Normally I say Caribbean racing men, and that's because a Caribbean woman was among the winners on the weekend. The Guyanese trainer Lolita Shivmangal winning at Aqueduct on Saturday with the Jamaican jockey Romero Ramsey Mirage riding. Ray Handel, the Jamaican trainer, had two wins at Aqueduct in the past week as well. A uh, lot of Jamaican trainers doing well in Florida also because Rowan Crichton, he had two wins at Gulfstream Park and two at Tampa Bay Downs as well. And Ronaldo Richards had three wins at Tampa Bay Downs, including a Wednesday double. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.